This war is insane. This war is actually insane. And Lenade is in here for ATN. I actually don't get to cast ATN a lot, so this is really exciting for me here today. But he's coming in with a Queen Charge Lala. Now, this war has so many ramifications. It is ATN versus Topanai Empire. This is the grand final of the URAT competition here. It's been a single elimination bracket. It has been brutal. So many good teams have gone out already. And we've just been left with these two amazing teams. And they are playing for a prize pool of 2,500 euros. I personally don't actually know if it's winner take all. But still, 2,500 euros. This is an insane prize pool. Bigger than like 99% of community tournaments that are out there. Uh, Clash of Clans just keeps growing as an eSport. And I love it. Um, so 2,500 euros, about 3,000 US dollars for those who don't know what a euro is. Um, and for those who don't know what a US dollar is as well, it's about 50,000 Australian dollars, give or take 19,000. Anyways, Queen going towards the town hall here. This has taken a bit of time for Lenade, but that King did really good work actually. Getting the Eagle down means uh, his healers won't get nuked by it. Queen's going to walk around and try and get the town hall here. Um, hasn't dealt with the sweeper. That's my only thing. I assume the Lala is going to come into the scatter here. But uh, having not dealt with the sweeper is a little bit annoying for his Lala. Let's see what happens here. Got the giant. Expect the RC behind. Nice. This RC could actually get a little bit of value if this Lassie decides to tank anything. Oh my. Look at this. Look at this. What an amazing Tesla farm here from Rigatoris. And he actually rages the RC with the headhunter as well. Actually, that look, works really well. Pops the RC. Will she get the Tesla farm? She gets most of it. It's one minute. Hasn't even started the Lalo. Patience on this man is crazy. And look at that. That RC with the Rage, Lassie, and Stone Slammer means that sweeper facing that direction is actually going to be mostly ineffective. Not going to do anything. The sweeper facing the other way, though, will actually do something on the back end of this base. Two headhunters come in and they get warden with the Rage, and this looks crushed. It's just time. Time is actually going to be an interesting issue. We see lots of minions on the far side of the base struggling with the storages, but I think he's got it. He's got he's got three swag spells. He's raging the cleanup minions. Honestly, the right call was made there. Needed to rage those minions because I don't think these loons are. They would have made it across the base anyway. Let's be honest. What an amazing attack here from Lene. Just absolutely destroying that base with the best army in the game. ATN starting off strong. And Rigatorus is in here on Boom's base. Two heavyweights going against each other. I actually recognize this base. I don't recognize too many bases in the community at the moment, but I do recognize this base. But it was triple with Queen Charge Lalo when I saw it. Let's see, uh, Broom pro Broom's probably baited it knowing him. Let's see if Rigatorus can take it out. Not doing a Lalo attack. That's very unusual for Rigatorus. One of the better Lalo attackers in the game. Uh, one of the better everything attackers in the game, though, let's be honest. Can this queen take out the town hall before the unicorn goes down? Yeah, she can. Unicorn gonna stay up and help out. Sends a headhunter that runs straight into a giant bomb. Rip. Sending a hog. Oh, nope. <laughs> That's unfortunate. And look at it. This archer tower is gonna start picking off healers. He's gonna have to think of something to do for that archer tower. The archer tower picks off the unicorn first. Oh, it goes to the queen. Little fortunate, but it is unfortunate to lose the unicorn. The unicorn does plenty of healing there. Gonna have to deal with this hound CC, and that sweeper's doing so much. He's got three freezers. Expect one of them to be used here. Yep, uses it on the hut and the sweeper. Smart choice there. And coming in with the hybrid. Not gonna wall break in like the king. No, he does wall break in the king. The pecker doesn't go in, but the king goes in. This is gonna be amazing. Look at it. The king with his ability is gonna do so much work. He has to pop the queen ability. Little unfortunate there. Queen's going to wrap around to the bottom side, though, and that's perfect. Expect the Warden ability in 3, 2, 1, bam. Ooh, doesn't get the King in the Warden ability. That's actually kind of big. This King could have done a lot of value, could have gotten a lot of value here on the back end. Queen's just doing her thing. She's going to get so much value. Good heal there. Doesn't miss this double giant bomb, though. Those hogs going to die? They do. Ooh, another giant bomb. Ooh, was he ready for this attack? Still got the RC ability and two freezers. Gonna be all up to how he uses these freezers. Come on, Royal Champion. We need a big finish from you here. What? Warden! You just put... 
What? Oh, and that was very fortunate. He did not have to pop the Royal Champion there. Does pop it there. Got no spells left. Can this Royal Champion get through the rest of the base? I think she can. That cannon is shooting the gems at the RC, but not even if you shoot gems at the RC, will that stop her? And that is a triple there from Rigatoris on Boom's base. Really nice hybrid there. Showing that hybrid can still be really strong in this meta, even if you put like four giant bombs specifically to stop it and Top and I Empire strike back. And Boom is in here. Fresh after getting tripled, coming in with the Inferno Skelly attack. Look at that. Freezes the Sweeper. Imagine that. Thinking your Town Hall is safe, even though it's protected by a Sweeper. I totally don't do that on my bases. I definitely do. Interesting uh, with the Yeti Bomb there. Obviously, it does secure the Town Hall and should get this. Oh, barely gets the Wizard Tower. Look at that. The Poison does a lot to those Yeti Mites. I didn't realize how much that Poison effect did. Interesting. Gonna have to deal with the, this Hound here, which is annoying, but uh, was to be expected. Given that he was Yeti bombing straight into the CC. Queen can hopefully get rid of this Hound and the Pups whilst the Poison's still active, but I don't think she'll be able to. Interesting, I would have probably put an Inferno Drake to help out here. Because if you get the Queen down whilst the Poison can still take out the Pups, it's just so much nicer for your Queen. It means she doesn't take as much damage. Look at that, he's got all the max pets. I cannot wait till I've got max pets, but I reckon that I'm still like two months from max pets, guys. I'm still two months. Like, it's just insane how much time is needed for them. Anyways, we're getting distracted. King with the yak on the funnel with the queen. Early warden pot, that's synonymous with this attack. Queen doing her thing. Got all the uh, skelly spells that you could possibly need and expect them to start going down any second now. Look at this. This base has three multis, so there has to be a reason that uh, Boom liked this for the Inferno Drags. Because he doesn't get to the Eagle early, there's three multis, there's an awkward co Like, this base screams bad for Inferno Drags to me, but clearly it doesn't scream that for Boom. So let's see if he can make it work regardless. King and uh, Queen are doing massive work on the bottom side. They got rid of the Eagle. They're gonna get rid of two heroes. This is wrecked. Oh no. Even with the Tesla farm to stop the RC. This is the exact same base that in the Top and I Empire War, guys. I was uh, I was in love with this base. I was giving it all the love I possibly could. Or was it this one? No, it was the other base. Sorry. Still, I raided this base. I'm pretty sure it got the defense, but no. Uh, unfortunately, not enough to get the defense here. Um, boom, just too good with the Inferno Jacks. And saying that, it is close. Like, it's not like it's been a bad defense at all, but you've got to get all the bit, all the uh, enemy troops down to get that full defense. Look at that. What? How did that? What? It looked like the Warden ate the Sam. It must have been like an Inferno Drag or a Balloon that was still up. Look at it. This Yak cannot be bothered. This Yak's the most lazy person ever. Why walk around the wall when you can just beat your head through it? Wait a second. Holy, how close is that? How close is that? I reckon that Grand Warden needed four more shots. Four more shots, maybe five, and it would have taken out all of those heroes and the Yak. In saying that, if it took out the King first, the Yak would have been raged as its companion died. My favorite thing about the update. Anyways, we're getting sidetracked yet again. GG's to boom. And Riak is in here for Top and I Empire. Can they match that triple with one of their own? Coming in with the Queen Charge Lalo. Coming in with 24 balloons, only the one hound on this. Look at all those builder huts by the town hall. Is he gonna... Is he gonna try and lalo through that town hall? Surely not. This is where this base, uh, this base building meta gets interesting. Because if you put so much value... Because people aren't as scared of these smash attacks through the town hall because the poison... Does so much work. Wow, that freeze is unbelievable from React. That is an unbelievable freeze. Great work there. Saves the Queen ability, and I bet you that will come in handy later in the attack. Anyways, as we were talking, if you can put like so much value around the tunnel, it makes it difficult, because you can't really Queen charge it. You can't smash through it. You can drag through it, kind of. You don't really want to blimp it, and you definitely don't want to lalo through it, so... That's honestly going to be the meta more and more. Just these stacked town hall compartments just baiting people into uh, figuring out how they want to deal with it. Once this air defense goes down here, we will see the jump place. There it goes. 
Rage the Queen. She's going to get through that enemy queen quite easily. Look at that. When there's no damage on the queen, she destroys the enemy queen. Now we need our queen to jump into the right compartment. Come back for the... Come back for the air bow queen. Uh, not the air bow, sorry. For the multi-inferno. She should. Surely, right? King does a great job, by the way. Look at that. He carves a huge funnel in saying that. Am I the only one that's really scared about a million Teslas around the town hall here? He's only got the one rage left react. He will probably have to use it any second now to deal with the RC, um, yep, and these pups. He's just gonna lolo through the tunnel and through a sweeper. Oh man, the guts on React. The Tornado Trap is 100% in that compartment. I could not guarantee it more. He has not even placed his Royal Champion yet. Oh, this is so interesting to watch. We're gonna learn so much about Lolo through the tunnel here. Saying that, he's done a great job. The Queen got the Sweeper at the perfect time. Loons, move! Loons, move! You need to get out of the poison! RC's on the bottom side. Loons, get out! Oh, they got out. They eventually got out. 32 seconds. It's absolutely a triple. It's just down to time at this point. Oh, no. He's got the Sneaky Gob. He needs to put the Sneaky Gob on that DE storage. That DE storage. Yep. Sneaky Gob there. 20 seconds left. Queen's still alive. She has lost her healers. RC alive. Warden alive, and that is a triple, ladies and gentlemen. And that was a lovely attack, and how good was that Lalo? It would have been so easy for him to panic with the the task that that ha Lalo had ahead of itself. But React, calm under pressure, nails out the triple. We're both perfect in the war here. And Vale is in here, coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo. Like I said, just the best attack in the meta. Now, this is the exact same base that we saw Lex hit. Um, in the previous war, and he queen charged into the same compartment. Admittedly, came from 9:30 rather than 8:30, but same compartment. But Lex did not bring any additional wall breakers. He obviously came in with the hybrid as well, but did not bring any additional wall breakers. Oh, Queen's not going to be able to keep the unicorn alive, and she unfortunately goes down there. I wonder if it would ever be useful freezing the scatter to save the uh, unicorn. Not something I really know the answer to. King gonna come in from the bottom side. Oh, freezes the single a little unnecessarily. Then pops the king. Hopefully the single goes after barbs here. It should. The giant bomb goes off though. Come on, king. Come on, king. Get that single down. RC getting the eagle. Look at it. All three heroes, but they're all spread out so nicely. Moving in a wave across the base. All tanking for each other. All doing cross damage. It's just perfect. They are moving in perfect unison. It's like the Lalo attacks that you see from the best in the world, where the loons move in a line across the base together. And that's not just because they did the two finger drop and spam in a line. It's because it's deliberate timing on the Lalo there. And look at that. That RC is going to get that multi as well. Holy, where's the base? If this queen finally goes up and gets this core scatter, this base is toast. This queen should come back. She should come back for this, um... He's got three rages left. Are you kidding me, Vale? Uh, Vale. Vale. Are you kidding me? He's got so many f rages left. This is unbelievable. Oh, this base is wrecked. I'm just calling it now. I know there's a chance I jinx it just because of how strong the Town Hall Poison effect is. But look at that. Activates the uh, NATO early. And those loons with the Rage are going to get out of the Poison range really quickly. And this is just absolutely wrecked. What an unbelievable attack that was. That charge destroyed the base. But it was less so the charge and more so the value he got from his King and RC. They gutted the entire right-hand side and bottom side of the base, setting him up for success, and ATN stays perfect. Armalan is in here for Top and I Empire, and yet again, they have to match a triple of ATNs with a triple of their own. What is this base? What the hell is this? Oh, this is going to be fascinating. We're going to learn so much about Queen charging into town halls here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so interested to see what happens. Will these... Surely the Queen's healers die here, right? In saying that, that tornado is helping him. It's pulling the Queen up, and now she's more likely to go for that Tesla next, rather than the bow. If she went for the bow next, I'd be scared for these healers. 
He's under a lot of damage as well. The poison effect. Oh, these healers are going to get so close. Sweeper, we need you to keep pushing the healers away. Skellies, keep appearing. We need to stall this queen. And the poison effect runs out. Look at that. The traps on the base actually helped. I reckon if there was no Nado, no Skellies, no nothing, there is a chance those healers die. Fascinating. Fascinating the two ways that you could go with that from a base building perspective. He's got no more wall breakers. And he can't reach either of the scatter shots here. So honestly, he will want to get those builder huts for parving. But in terms of like the value he's looking for with his queen charge, it's kind of it. It's kind of it. Gets deals with the CC and the Lalo comes in from the top side. I love this deployment. With the RC at 1 o'clock here and the actual Lalo on the top side here. The Lalo is just going to force the Royal Champion into the core of the base. He has lost a few balloons early. Expect a Rage at Water. Nice. Look at those headhunters just destroy. And look at that. Stone Slammer going to help take out the Eagle. All those red bombs getting negated. Not all of them though. Some of them are still there. Oh, those loons are so low. Can they take out the Queen? Oh, they took out the enemy Queen. There is no way. There is no way they did that. Loons coming in unbelievably clutch. And that's a triple. How good were those balloons? Just dropped a bomb on the Queen's face. And she goes down. And look at that. Like I said, the Queen was kind of done with her value for the base. The offensive Queen, this is... Um, but uh, in terms of uh, just taking out the Builder Huts, it helped the pathing so much. What an insane attack. This war just gets better and better. And Yo-Yo's in here. A Lalo Specialist. Coming in with Queen Charge, Lalo. Not the quickest attack in the world. Interesting. But, obviously, um, ATN have some of the best base builders in Clash of Clans. So maybe they're just going to back their bases in. Obviously, you need to triple. There's no point coming in with Inferno Drakes if you're not going to triple. So getting the triple is the number one thing here. I like this compartment he's decided to charge into. Already used the king for that flanking compartment. Oh my, look at that. The king literally doesn't die when he has the yak. Thankfully, the headhunter split. So this queen will actually be able to deal with the headhunter. And I think the king dealt with the... What? The king opened the core of the base? Excuse me. Oh, look at that. The Yak gets raged when his companion dies. He actually doesn't do much damage, but he got raged, which was cool. Got the RC and then got an Invis and a Quake. Look what's going to happen here. I think he's going to Invis Quake this town hall, but he's going to have to freeze it anyway. There's no point in this Invis because the town hall is going to go after your healers anyway. Yep. Ends up having to use the freeze anyway. Eagles after the queen. Will it force ability? Not quite. The queen's barely hanging on. If she can go in... Now, unfortunately, you might think, Ooh, this yak opening this wall is a good thing. It wasn't, because he wants to get both multis. But the queen beats the wall? What? My queen would walk around and leave one of those multis up. Yo, yo, I want your queen. And this base should be wrecked now. We do know the Tesla farm's on the back end here, though. We have seen this base hold earlier today. Queen gets the other multi. Oh, this is looking so good. And he's got the queen ability... Which means this queen will be able to get the enemy queen. Just pop the ability there. And he does. Oh, yo-yo. Man, you are making me drool here. This is just an amazing attack. Just got to time these last two freezes. I mean, no, you don't even have to. You just need to put these last two freezes on the map. And he's queen charge laloing in about two minutes, like 20 it's going to look like. It's a pretty quick qu queen charge lalo attack. It's going to help their time a little bit. Um, so no complaints there from ATN in terms of time, man. ATN, guys, they just don't look like failing whatsoever. Can Top and I Empire come in with another triple of their own? Let's see. And Meteor is in here, coming in with another Queen Charge Lalo. Man, this is just an exhibition on Queen Charge Lalo. How many, has anyone kept track of how many Queen Charge Lalo attacks there's been? Has there been a non-Queen Charge Lalo attack? There was a hybrid, right? The first attack of the... Rigatoris did the hybrid. Um, has there been a... Has there been a non-Queen Charge Lalo attack aside from that? Anyways, we're getting distracted from this actual attack, but like, it just shows how strong this is. Let's see if Metro can come in with another triple for it here. Queen Charging straight into the Warden, but a perfect early rage there. Should be able to get through this Warden and the Queen. Now, look at this. Look at where this charge is headed towards. Four ground bows. 
And I think he wants the town hall with this charge. Let's see if he makes it work. I'm so curious. Freezes the queen. Doesn't end up doing anything because he had just taken out the queen, but still probably the right call. Now he's only got one freeze and one invisi left. I'm so worried about this charge. I'm so worried about his charge. I hate to say this because I don't know better, but I worry he's bitten off more than he can chew here, Metro. Four bows. And he's already used the Invisi. And look, he's going to need the Freeze in a second by the look of it. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, he uses the Freeze there. He had to. He's got two more Rages left. Going to have to use another one right here. Uh-oh. He hasn't got it down in time. Nope. That's going to be an Ability Pop. Oh, no. The King's going to help out here, though. Popping the Queen's not the worst thing in the world. Unfortunately, it came with the Rage as well. But thankfully, all these bows will switch to the uh, King here. Look at the bows eradicate even the King. The King has so much hit points, and suddenly, this is not looking good for Top and I Empire. He still has to Lalo this entire top side of the base. Queen's going to get tar targeted by the Eagle. He's got a huge decision here. Nah, he has to give up on that. He has to Lalo through the Town Hall or Blimp it. Come on, Blimp. Take out the Town Hall. We need this. Oh, no! No, 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 no! 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 The, per the perfect tornado! Has to use his RC as well. He hasn't started the Lalo. Oh, this is just... Was not meant to work here. This would be a steal if he could get the triple here. The Eagle's going to be the last defense to go down. The RC gets destroyed by the Eagle and two ground bows. There is a core scatter to up and just... it. Too many ground bows. It shows it is possible to defend Queen Charges. Just need to invest a lot. And a core Tesla farm. This is going to be ugly. Oh, it's going to be low percent as well. To the point where this basically confirms the win for ATN. What a sad little um, end to the war almost. We'll see. It's never over till it's over. But ATN for their last attack needs to get 63% to win the war. No, 64 because the... 66, sorry. Because the minion finally took out the eagle. Unlucky for Metro there. Just wasn't meant to be. And Ast is in here. He needs two stars and 66%. And a blizzard for the town hall when you don't run into a NATO. It's a pretty surefire way of uh, getting the two stars. And setting up for a uh, 80... Uh, sorry, a 66% attack. He's trying to get this queen. Go blizzard. Nicely done there. Man, imagine if he got that um, CC as well. That would have been insane. Great value there from the Blizzard, though, for Ast. He has to be stoked with that. He's got two Super War Breakers. Probably expect it for the Wizard Tower here and then into the Scatter Shot compartment. And then RC for the Multi at 6. Runs into a Tesla Farm. So he will delay this second War Breaker. Just wait for the Tesla Farm to be tanked. Perfect. There goes the War Breaker. Nicely done. Man, he's going to get so much value from this Sui. This is going to be legitimately insane. Oh, Queen! 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 Don't you dare, Queen. She's trying to run off without the King. I thought she was going to run around the loop to get the defensive King. That one's a little fortunate there. RC coming in from the bottom. Interesting. Went with the Unicorn on this one. My main problem with Unicorn on RC is that the Unicorn is so much slower than the RC. So that's that the Unicorn is always playing catch-up. Can the queen get, like, some of the builder huts here? That would be nice. There goes one. An air bow would be handy. Gets it. Perfect. Oh, unfortunately, Invisi, the enemy RC. Oh, no. Run after. Go on. And so begins the chase. RC versus RC. I think the RC, enemy RC, is about to go down to the headhunters anyway. Look at all these loons going to the core. Not many on the flank. Normally you'll want like a little bit of a split between the two. Never mind, they all go the same way. He's got two freezers for this scatter shot. Or oh, three, sorry. There goes the first one. Oh my lord, this is wrecked. That's just cruel. ATN saving their best for last here. Getting 15 stars in the penultimate match. They are the most clutch team in the world. No one can argue with that. They are also the best team in the world. It, they just are stomping through the competition at this stage. Top and I Empire 
put up an amazing performance today of their own, but it's not going to be enough to stop ATN, and they're going to be taking the 2,500 euro prize pool. And Michael is in here. Let's see if he can end. Oh, what is this? If this defends, I'm copying this base. Like, imagine being tasked with hitting this base. I could not think of a worse thing. Imagine being tasked with hitting this base. Coming in with the Super Wish attack. A good attack for this base. Watermore clears a corner. Still got a few healers on the Warden. The Warden's losing a lot of health. Um, oh no. I don't even know if he did anything wrong. The healers just switched off the Warden. The healers are not back on the Warden. The Warden's about to die. Three, two, one. He's dead. Oh my, what are you doing, healers? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but healers, why did you switch off the Warden? I have not seen something like that before. Oh no. Super Witch is half of the ones with the healers run away from the town hall. He's got a jump. Is he going to use it? He, his plan was to blimp the town hall. Interesting. I guess the plan was to just blimp the town hall in the core and just have the Super Witches run around the base like this. That was actually a good plan. I actually like that. No point going into the core and engaging all the damage at once. In, in, um, engage it one at a time, but Michael, that, those healers just ruined this attack. And this base, I guarantee you, you're going to see this base all over Legends now. Apparently, Corne is saying it's already a well-known Legends base in the chat. Clearly, it wasn't well enough known, well known enough to the point where I knew it, but I guarantee you, everyone will know this base now. Expect base links for this one. Just search it up. I bet you in 12 hours there'll be like all of those YouTube channels that only have like 10k subscribers because they do base links and they will have uploaded this base a hundred times over. Um, I mean it worked. The base did amazing work here for Yo-Yo. Unlucky there for Michael. I actually don't think he did a lot wrong. Just uh, got ruined there by his warden. Let's have a look at the overall score on the war. And uh... Look, it says 13 stars, 85.8, but we know this war was so much closer. This was anyone's game at three attacks when it was nine all, and tied on stars, and tied on time, but ATN's just too good. They close it out, and they are going to be taking a hefty prize pool today. They're going to be loving that. Let's see. We got Worlds Qualifiers coming up this month. Can anyone beat a ATN? Does anyone in the chat and down in the comments below this video? Let me know if you think anyone can beat this team because they're just looking red hot at the moment.